water pollution. It seems that water, since it dissolves everything which is soluble, since it dilutes everything which is toxic, since it washes away everything which floats, since it hides everything that sinks, is sentenced by mankind to be the main transmitter of pollution. More than 70% of rivers, streams and lakes around the world are polluted by industrial, agricultural and urban waste. At least 25 million people die every year in underdeveloped countries because of the water. In this video, we will talk about the main causes of water pollution. In the subsequent episodes, we will explain how water is purified and how we have made a scale model to understand the successes the steps of this process. Madrid is a privileged area with regard to the quality of the water because the closeness of the Guadarrama range means that most of the rivers that supply the city carry milk water. As it is the case with River Manzanares, which runs through it. The pure water of the rivers along their coast gets substances of different sources which gradually deteriorate its quality and turn it in the end into dirty water, particularly after being used by humans. Depending on the source, water pollution can be natural, no human action, rock particles caused by erosion, waste of animals and plants, etc. Usually, water has enough self-purifying power to eliminate it. Anthropic, from urban domestic sources. Human action, there are three categories. Black water, grey water with chemical waste from detergents, bleach, DIY stuff, etc. Microorganisms, from agricultural livestock sources. Chemical compost, fertilizers, pesticides, Wastewater from cleaning and agricultural staff and facilities, microorganisms. From industrial sources, solid pollutants, heavy metals, organic matter, fluids, oils, greases, which cause acidity, alkalinity, temperature increase, radioactivity, etc. A problem related to water pollution is bioaccumulation. Living organisms can absorb many pollutants. This increases their concentration throughout the food chain to deadly levels. That happens because they are synthetic compounds like DDT, plastics or any others which do not occur naturally, as it is the case of heavy metals, and there are not any organisms that break them. All that means that water must be used rationally and then it must undergo a purifying process to eliminate any toxic substance before putting it back into the waterways.